McNamaraReport.com. And if you're a smart small business owner looking for a single device that can print, copy, scan, and fax, then you're probably also aware that the initial cost of that device is not a great measure of how it's going to perform or what it's going to cost you to operate in the long run. Now, it used to be the laser-based models, such as the new HP LaserJet Pro 200, made up for their initially higher costs with faster print speeds, better quality output, and lower cost per page than an inkjet. But all that may have changed with Epson's Workforce Pro WF4630 4-in-1 inkjet. It features a precision core engine that Epson claims is far faster than the LaserJet Pro with competitive print shop image quality and up to 50% lower cost per page. Plus, it packs in several advanced features that could save you time and money on a daily basis. So let's put these claims to the test so you can decide which device will give your business the edge it deserves. We'll start by comparing size and features. The Epson is nearly 20 pounds lighter and has a smaller desktop footprint than the HP. It also has a higher capacity main paper tray and a specialty media feed in the back for thicker papers and envelopes. Both devices feature similar capacity auto document feeders and a flatbed scanner underneath for photos and thicker items. Wired ports include USB, fax, and ethernet and back. While up front, each features a 3.5-inch color touchscreen control panel that gives quick access to paper selections and copy controls, as well as one-button Wi-Fi set up to the office. The Epson screen offers some gesture controls, while the HP offers direct access to online printing apps and templates. Replacing inks and toners can be done quickly through the front door, and published print capacities are fairly close when the Epson is loaded with high-capacity inks, which cost less than half the price of a full set of toners for the HP. And based on this, Epson's claims for up to 50% lower cost per page may be conservative, and that's before you factor in the time and materials cost saved using Epson's auto two-sided printing, scanning, and copying. The HP lets you print on two sides, but requires manual intervention, and it doesn't feature two-sided copying, which Epson performs with its advanced two-way auto document feeder. Differences between the two become much more apparent when actually printing, and the Epson's single-sided print speed is remarkably faster than the HP thanks no doubt to the new Precision Core print engine. This is the fastest inkjet printer I've ever tested, and it's so fast compared to the HP that it's able to finish off a color or black and white four-page ISO test document in about the same time as the HP completes its first page. And it does so using about one-tenth the measured wattage during printing or copying. Imagine how much time and utility costs the Epson speed and power usage will save with large print jobs, or over the typical life of the printer. And then try to imagine how much time and effort the Epson will save you when printing two-sided color and black and white documents. As you can see in this test, the Epson's automatic two-sided printing capability lets you send a two-sided document to the printer and do nothing else but pick it up when it's finished, which again occurs in about the same time as the first page leaves the HP, which then requires you to manually pick up the set of first pages when they're finished and reinsert them into the paper tray in order for the second page to print on them. Not shown here is the time you might have to add to the HP while trying to reduce paper curl, which occurs on many plain papers. In several tests, putting curl papers back in the paper feed caused serious paper jams, which I never encountered on the Epson in one or two sided speed tests or when copying documents. I'm speeding up the second half of this test to save time watching, but the real time saver in this case is the Epson printer. Speed isn't everything when printing documents, but it takes a really close examination to see a difference in font sharpness between these two printers. In one-sided prints, the HP shows slightly sharper edges on fonts, while the Epson reproduces chart colors with continuous tones versus a noticeable dot pattern on the HP. In photos, the HP shows slightly bolder colors, but higher contrast with less detail in shadow areas. Differences really jump off the page when comparing black and white and color copies. Note first how the background color on the chart turns to no color on the HP, and how fine lines disappear even without the help of a magnified view. Up close, the Epson wins hands down in copy quality, producing higher contrast fonts, fine lines, and chart colors, while in photos the HP's higher contrast overwhelms details and graduated colors in the sky and shadow areas. 
With photo prints, the HP fights back with slightly bolder colors on matte paper, but the Epson nails color accuracy and produces better shadow details. Up close, it also has better continuous tone and finer details, while the HP's moiré printing pattern obscures fine details. On the other hand, the HP has a slightly larger color gamut on matte paper, but the Epson takes that back with a similar advantage on glossy paper. If you copy color photos directly to a USB drive or to a computer using the scan drivers, the Epson scans show better contrast, detail, and tonality. HP scans to the computer show poor results, with blocked up shadow details and a mottled appearance in the sky. The Epson's color gamut is also far larger than the HP's, and its scan driver even lets you save files in TIFF format. So there you have it. As claimed, the Epson Workforce Pro WF4630 not only smokes the LaserJet Pro 200 in one and two-sided print speeds, but blows the scanner lid off in terms of copy quality. The bottom line? For the $350 it would cost just to replace the four toners on the HP, you could buy a brand new WF4630 and a full set of high capacity inks. But if you're a really smart business owner, you'll make that choice to begin with. For more information on this test and other tests that I've performed, click on the icon to my left. And thanks for watching.